Hello everyone. We are in week one lecture videos, chapter three, and in this video I will be talking about general insurance. General insurance involves insurance coverage related to the loss of real and personal property or legal liability exposures. While there are many different types of property and liability insurance, general insurers tend to offer multiple activity line insurance cover called comprehensive policies combining features of property and liability insurance into single policy packages. For example, comprehensive home insurance. With the deregulation of Australia's financial markets and removal of entry barriers, foreign competition led to modernization and growth in the industry. The general insurance industry in Australia is highly concentrated. Competition in the, within the industry is robust, with improved transparency of pricing and policy features resulting from improved consumer information access and also through financial services reform and regulation. Most of the general insurers are direct insurers, that is companies that sell um, insurance policies directly to customers. In June 2014, 12 insurers were specialist reinsurance companies which underwrite insurance from other insurers. While most general insurers will undertake some reinsurance activities, reinsurance is the only business of a specialist reinsurer. So, um, through reinsurance, general insurers are able to transfer all or part of insurance to a new contract with another insurance company. So, uh, just, to, just to give you a very brief definition, direct insurers are the insurers that sell insurance policies directly to customers. On the other hand, reinsurers um, are the ones that purchase insurance policies from the others. So, in this case, uh, a direct insurer can spread the risk to the other insurers, uh, effectively the reinsurers. These are uh, various types of uh, product uh, uh, services in general insurance industry. For example, um, the policies related to motor vehicle, professional indemnity, house owners and households, product liability, fire, loan markets and these public liability, trade credit, compulsory third party motor vehicle, consumer credit, employers liability, sickness and accident, marine travel and aviation. So that's uh, the end of our discussion on general insurance. In the next video, we will complete chapter three by discussing the superannuation funds. Thank you.